This is the fur zapper. It's a product you add to your laundry to remove pet hair. I got plenty of pets here. I'm gonna try it out in today's review. This is actually like sticky. How did you expect that? It's actually sticky. All right, so here are the instructions for the fur zapper. Let's see what it says here. Wash clothing or laundry with your fur zapper. Place wet laundry and fur zapper in your dryer. This goes in your washer and your dryer. Place fur zapper back in your washer and repeat. It says it's self cleaning and reusable. Removes pet hair, dander, lint, and more. This should be very interesting. It is very sticky. I was thinking it was more like a scrub daddy material, but this is actually very sticky. All right, here's how I think I'm gonna do this test. I've got four pets here, three dogs and a cat. So I'm gonna get eight shirts covered with pet hair. I'm gonna do four of them with a the fur zapper and four of them without the fur zapper and then compare and see how well it works. First up contestant number one is Bailey. All right, so for, I want to say that all the shirts I'm using are going to be black and 100% cotton, so it's as even as I can get it. It's not scientific, it's as close as I can get. Let's get the first one all haired up with Bailey. Come on, Bailey, come here. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she loves doing this. She loves when I do this in the videos. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. oh now, she, now, she's, now she's playing. Okay. Oh, she's fake biting me. Fake biting. Ow. Where's your ball? Here's your ball. Look at your ball. Oh, my goodness. I got to get out of here. See, we, let's see the damages. She got hair on my nose. How's this look? Okay, I'm not gonna wipe any of this hair off. It's going right in the wash just like that. Now, that's the first black shirt. Let's get another one covered in Bailey hair. Shirt number two, 100% cotton. Let's do it. Come here, come here, get over here, go girl. Okay, come here, oh yeah, oh yeah. You love oh. oh, that actually hurt. Oh, she punched me in the mouth. Oh, she's, she's fake biting me. Wow, this dog is strong. Jeez. <laughs> okay, Bailey, okay. Where's your ball? Get your ball. Here, go get your ball. Oh my goodness. See how we did here. Oh wow, look at that, look at this. All right, I gotta get another black shirt and try the other dogs. Next we have Daisy. All right, this is Daisy, my 13 and a half old golden retriever. She's very old. I don't wanna make her get up for this, so I'm just gonna to come to her. I've got a couple of shirts that are the same thing from a band I was in years ago. I found two of them, so I'm gonna use both these for Daisy. See, she probably likes, she likes this. Oh, she likes it, good girl. Oh, she's, she even laid down for it. Oh, you like that, don't you? Oh, you're getting playful. Shirt number one, nice and hairy. Shirt number two, good girl. Oh, she's, she's wagging her tail. Oh, Daisy, you're still playful. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's pretty hairy. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you for contributing. All right, the third contestant is the Chihuahua L. All right, this is L, the eight-year-old Chihuahua. She is the next contestant. She has little tiny hairs. They're much different than Bailey's. Her hairs are quarter of an inch long and they're actually hard to get out. I found that even lint brushes have a hard time getting L's hair out. So that'll be a really good test, a golden retriever versus Chihuahua. Now I've already got another shirt with hair on it. My daughter was holding L earlier, got hair all over her shirt. I thought it'd be perfect for this competition. Let's see how the two L shirts look. How does that look? This is all those little hairs on me. That's, that's pretty bad. This is L shirt number two. Look at all those tiny Chihuahua hairs all over. This will be a perfect want to compare it to as well. And finally, the newest member of our family, it's Spooky. And Spooky's been laying on a couple shirts for a few days that I put in there as soon as we ordered the fur zapper. So they should be nice and hairy with Spooky's hair. We put two shirts in there. Spooky's been laying on them for about four days, so they should be nice and hairy. Let's check the shirts out. Okay, got nice large amounts of hair on both shirts from Spooky. Thank you, Spooky. And we're gonna put these with the others and wash them up. All right, Bailey's washing over my shirts for me. Here is what we've got. I've got four of each. 
We've got two Bailey, two Spooky, two Daisy, and two L. Let's take a look at all these one more time. First, let's look at this row. We've got Bailey, Spooky, Daisy, L. Now the other side. We've got Bailey, Spooky, Daisy, L. What do you think, Bailey? No. She's gonna fly. She's gonna fly. Okay, the instructions say to add the clothes first. Use lots of water, which I'm doing. No fabric softener or dryer sheets. And here it goes. This will be interesting. All right, so the key now is to throw the fur zapper in with these clothes, no dryer sheets, and see how it goes. Let's try it out. Okay, let's, let's pull this out first. Okay, I do see a little bit of lint on there. All right, so both loads are done now. So let's compare each shirt and see how each one did with and without the fur zapper. All right, first comparison. This is the Bailey shirts. This was with the fur zapper and without the fur zapper. Now I see a huge difference. You know what's interesting is I don't see hardly any pet hair on the Bailey shirt with the fur zapper, hardly any. Maybe a few, few stray pieces, not much. Doesn't look too bad. This one seemed to pick up some of the cat hair from one of the other shirts. You got fuzz all over it. This looks not very good. In the first test, I'm actually more impressed by the fur zapper than without. There's a little bit less fur, but more fuzz. Let's keep going. Okay, this is the Daisy shirts. This is with the fur zapper and without the fur zapper. Now, obviously with the fur zapper, I really don't see too much. Without the fur zapper, I really don't see too much either. I don't know if my washing machine is that good. I mean, I see a couple pieces here couple but I also see a couple here too I mean they really kind of close to me I don't see a huge difference let's keep trying here are the L shirts this is the with the fur zapper and without it looks like most of the little chihuahua hairs are gone it may have picked up a couple of stray hairs that's from the cat I believe so it picked up a few things from the other ones not too bad this one the same thing I think the results look about the same I see a couple of small hairs here and there but really this one doesn't look so bad. I think in this case, it's about a tie. All right here we have the cat hair test. This is with the fur zapper without. Now I still see some hair on here. Cat hair was a little bit more stubborn looks like. One big piece there. But it, like I said before, it seems like a lot of the fuzz from this one transferred to my Bailey shirt. So even though this one is a little bit cleaner, the other one is not. All right, so I think my first test of the fur zapper was a pretty good demonstration of how it works because you had some shirts that had fur and lint left on them afterwards without using it, and all four of the fur zapper shirts seemed to come out pretty good. Now, I've continued to use this for several days after that original test, and those tests have been less conclusive. Not because the fur zapper doesn't work, but because my washer and dryer do a really good job of removing hair and lint on their own, so I'm not sure if this $15 product is really something that I need because I don't have too much of a problem with it. Now, if your washer and dryer don't do a good job of taking off the hair and lint, this could be something that's good for you. Now, some of the other tests I did were taking a single shirt and rubbing it over three of my dogs and try to see if that made a difference. In that case, the fur zapper and the non-fur zapper loads were about the same. Check this out. Get some daisy hair. Daisy loves this. Okay, Chihuahua time. How about Bailey time? Good girl. Okay, that's a good girl. Shirt one and shirt two. This is the fur zapper shirt. See almost nothing on there. That's good. Here's the non fur zapper. Actually, doesn't look too bad either. I thought the fur zapper would run away with it, but it's actually pretty close. They both just have minor pieces of hair left on them. I also tried a microfiber towel and a white cloth towel with a bunch of inside out brand new black socks and a couple of used hairy black socks. And in that case, they still didn't seem to have much of a difference between the fur zapper and the non fur zapper. Here's how that looked. Let's look at the white cloth here. I don't see too much. I was expecting to see some black fuzzies, but I don't. Now for the nano towel. Huh, I don't really see too much on the nano towel. What about this side? I see nothing on the nano towel. It looks perfect. I don't know, I'm having a hard time getting enough dusty results. All I've got is a little bit of fuzz on one sock. Maybe a little fuzz on two socks. Next up, this is with the fur zapper. Okay, let's look at the white cloth. Once again, nothing. I don't see anything. All right, I actually see a couple pieces of fuzz on the one with the fur zapper. 
Not much though, just a couple pieces. I would say there's a minor difference between the socks because I got one piece there and not much here. I got a couple pieces of fuzz on the fur zapper side of the nano towel, not on this one. I paid about 15 bucks for a two pack of these. Here's how it looks fur zapper after about six loads. Here it is, a brand new one unused. As you can see there, it definitely is a difference. You can wash this off and keep using it and the stickiness still seems about the same on the two of them. And by the way, someone asked about the consistency of it. As you can see, it's very rubbery. But basically, if you're like me and don't have much of a problem with fur and lint in your washer and dryer, this may not be a product for you. If you do have a problem, this could be worth picking up. Have you used the fur zapper or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, is Freaking Reviews.